hello, hello. <laughs> hello, my beautiful family. How are you all doing? I hope everyone is well by the grace of God. Good evening. It's a beautiful, beautiful evening. Welcome back to Ernestina's Kitchen. If you are a subscriber, please welcome. If you are new, please, you are also welcome. My viewers, my supporters for the amazing job that they are doing by me. I am truly grateful and appreciated. God bless you all abundantly. Thank you so much. So this evening, our recipe is consomme fry, which means spinach stew. Yes. Enjoy it. So here are our beautiful ingredients. All right. So we are going to use these bad boys over here. It's our baby spinach. Okay. That's one I am going to use. We have some garden eggs here. We have some ginger. We have some toast, uh, which uh, the English name is turkey berries. Yes, we have some palm oil, we have some soft garlic peppers, uh, cloves of garlic, uh, some Roman tomatoes, some chopped mushrooms here. We have some dry fish here, okay? Now we have our uh, palm skin. This is goat meat and this is goat tripe. We have purple onion and white onion. We have cured fish. Rosemary thyme. We have big blended uh, shrimps. This is anise seeds. This is a goosey. This is tomato paste. So, as you can see, guys, it is going to be awesome. I can wait. So, guys, pass your seed up. Let's get cooking. All right, I have transferred my meat here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to So we have the turkey berries here. All right, so this um, turkey berries here, guys, it is so good for you. If you, if you have a low iron, trust me, you blend this with spinach and some plantain. Trust me, it is so good for you. So people who are diabetic, okay, extremely good for you. So guys, try it, all right? Okay. So when you clean your turkey berries, if you see ones that's like not good, you can just take them out, okay? Like something like this, that's no good. So now let's clean our garden eggs. So if you don't have these type of garden eggs, you can use the big purple one, the eggplant. Same thing. Okay, guys. When you're doing your um, eggplant or garden eggs, make sure you cut it up because sometimes it has like a fruit uh, worm in there. All right. Okay, so I have cleaned my garden eggs or eggplants and I also have the turkey berries here. I have my boiled order. I'm just going to put them in here. <laughs> I'm just going to put them in here just like that. until tender then we are going to blend it all right all right so it should take about 10 minutes yes okay, so i have my veggies here i'm going to blend it all right so i'm just gonna cut my onions all i'm doing is just make it smaller and dice it so it will be easier to blend okay have my tomatoes dice it beautiful just like so 
inside my blender okay so I am ready to blend my I have here uh, the pepper tomatoes and the white onion I can blend everything because it's too much okay all right okay so I am ready to blend my ginger garlic and um, this one here is uh, rosemary uh, this is two tablespoons goes inside here we also have one tablespoon of anise seed going here just like that you notice I have some uh, tomatoes that I blended from earlier on instead of water I left a little bit of the veggies that I blended so that it's easier for me to blend all right we are ready to blend our elusi me personally I don't like the the part one that they already blend I feel like I don't know what's inside there so I prefer to just um, get my own and then I blend it okay so guys as you can see see these things in here see these things they are not good right so what you do is you put water and all the ones are not good it comes it rise up okay so you can take them out just like that okay and then uh, we are going to blend this yes. okay so we have our goosey here okay and then we have this is uh, three cloves of uh, garlic and just a, a piece of uh, onion. This is yellow onion. So I just cut it up. It's gonna go inside here, just like so. Put a little bit of water. Then we are going to blend. Some people may ask me why I put garlic and onion. Okay, that is my preference. Okay, the reason why I do that, it gives it a little bit more flavor to the egusi okay so now we are ready to blend all right so we have finished blending i don't want my egusi too uh, watery so this is exactly how i wanted it perfect all right we are ready to cut our purple onion okay oh and what to tell you guys that this food that i'm making was actually ordered from uncle benji and uncle nana jenfi yes they ordered this food they like a lot of onions a lot of garlic a lot of pepper a lot of everything <laughs> all right we are ready to mash our eggplant and also turkey berries i'm not gonna blend it because i don't want it too smooth Veggies here, okay? Just like so, beautiful. All right, so this is the texture I want for my um, garden eggs or eggplant, as well as the turkey berries or kwamusa. <laughs> so we are ready to make our contemporary fry. I have my palm oil here. I'm gonna put it here just like so. It's a lot of stew, so I'm gonna use the whole palm oil. That's right. All right. This is our pure fish. It's gonna go in here just like so. All right, so we have our pure fish inside here. wait for two minutes this is the ginger garlic the all the seasoning and everything that's what I'm putting here just like so we're gonna wait for 10 minutes yes also adding this is tomatoes onions and ginger as well in here just like that we gonna wait for about half an hour okay it's been about half an hour now so we are ready for our tomato paste. Just gonna put it just like that. The tomato paste that I'm using is the one for jello rice. Like I said before, it has more flavor. All right, so I'm giving it a good stir. That's right. This is my dried fish. I'm putting them in here just like so. 
beautiful. This sewer is going to taste so good. Uncle Benji and Uncle Jamesy, Nana Jamesy, they are going to enjoy it to the fullest. Okay, so now we are going to add in our garden eggs. Oh, elephants right here. Just like so, okay. I'm gonna use my spatula and get it in here. Just like that. It smells so good, guys. I wish you were here to smell this aroma. All right, so this is the goat meat. Usually I'll fry it, but this time around I'm just gonna. I steam it already with seasoning, everything, so it's okay. Right here is our cow skin. The goat tripe. Yes. As you can see, I'm adding the rest of the meat in here. Just like so, I am adding in my sliced mushrooms. Yes. Wow, this is gonna be so amazing. This is baked blended shrimp. In here, just like so. This is curry. This is thyme. Okay. Delicious, smells so good. This will go so nice with um yam or eba or plantain. That's right. We have a goosey here ready to add in our consumer fry. Just like this, I'm gonna put them in there. Okay, it becomes like eggs. Alright, so as you can see, I have my egg goosey. This how exactly how I want it. I put a little bit of water in here, so I'm gonna add it, okay, as well. All right, that's like so beautiful. We're gonna wait for about 10 minutes or so. Yeah. All right, guys, look at that. This is amazing, right? Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stew. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful stew, just like that. All right, just like that. Okay, so now we are ready for our spinach. As you can see, the spinach is like that. I'm not gonna cut it. I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm just gonna just put them in here, just like so. Okay, beautiful, just like that. All right, we have a lot of spinach here. Yes, I know. Spinach always, uh, even though it looks a lot, trust me, once the heat hits it, it's gonna go down so, so, so flat like nothing. Once you put the spinach, okay, it should take about maybe a minute or two, that's all. Alright guys, as you can see, see how small the spinach became? So small, right? Yes, I said it. I said it. <laughs> oh my god, that's spinach, right? So small, yes, I know. Yep. <laughs> This becomes more like a goosey, <laughs> a goosey stew or a goosey soup. The amount of spinach I put it in here, I can't believe it. Next time, I think I'm gonna take like about maybe buy about five or six bags. Yeah, it's okay though. It's so tasty and good. There you have it, my beautiful family. I hope you enjoyed this video because I enjoy making it. Thank you so watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share and become part of and let's see us kitchen family because we love big family thank you have a blessed evening my
Thank you.